2019 inaugural freedom shoot put on by Mid-Iowa Archers and several other fine sponsors. And this is the facility that's holding the event to raise money for the veterans of the United States. Let's go inside. Well, here we are, giving back, Ridgemaster Outfitters. This is Bobby Branchcomb, a uh, member of the IBA and member of the Mid-Iowa Archers. Now, what have we got going here, Bobby? We got a fundraiser for our veterans. Uh, we're going to keep the money here. All the money raised is going to stay in the state of Iowa. Uh, so, I've been putting this shoot together for a year now. And we're, uh, it's coming together pretty good. Uh, Ridge Masters is nice enough to donate a antelope hunt, and uh, hopefully it'll go good tonight with uh, a few other things we got going. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, hopefully the veterans will benefit from this, and hopefully we can do it every year. So the support, for, like Ridge Masters and, and other organizations giving us support, will help this thing go for years and years and years. So. That's what we're looking for, and hopefully we can raise a lot of money for our veterans. So again, all of our money that is raised here in Iowa at this shoot will stay here in Iowa for our veterans of Iowa. So um, thank you, Ridge Masters, for what you do and the support you give the Iowa bull hunters over the years and the Mid-Iowa Archers and every everything you do. So thank you very much. Thanks, Chuck. Well, we want to thank you too, Bobby, because it goes both ways. I'm giving back. It's the late Fred Bear, he gave to promote archery, and if you don't promote it, then it's dying. Right. And with your effort of uh, trying to reach out and touch people, and uh, that's what it's all about. It's just not about thrill killing, it's about helping one another as a human race. So thanks again for having us here. Thank you guys. Thanks again, Chuck. Anyhow, this is the board meeting. <laughs> Bobby's ahead of the board meeting today. <laughs> and, uh, now, all these were harvested with Chuck Carrington out of Casey, Wyoming. Uh, it, uh, so, like I say, the spirit of giving back and of this man's effort of getting a hold of Chuck, and we're just proud to be here. Thanks again. Here, here we're outside. Pretty cloudy, foggy old day, 100% humidity. Some of the signage to the sponsors. And this parking lot's got quite a few people in it. They're out on the range right now. It, uh, like I said, it looks like it could start raining any minute. <laughs> this is a quaint little lodge they have for the Warren County Isaac Walton League. Over here is a pop up target. Uh, brought to you by Archery Field and Sport, Mark Wagner. You didn't go shoot with the hoodlums? No, no. <laughs> it's Marky Wagner, uh, the owner of Archery Field and Sport. Uh, really nice of him to bring all these pop-up stuff down here to this event. And all the money that's raised here goes to the veterans, right? Absolutely, yep. Uh, yep, all the all the proceeds, all everything that's raised is going to go to the veterans, and it's going to be the veterans in Iowa. Um, so it's just going to be a, a nice cause, you know, for anybody to come down and, and donate some money. And well, Chuck Kirsten's hands in my hand. <laughs> that's awesome. And we're thanking you. We appreciate Chuck. <laughs> okay, hey, uh, Mark's been out to Chuck. You shot your first antelope out there years ago. I did. <laughs> I did. It was awesome. He's out there turkey hunting this year. Uh, yeah. I don't go turkey hunting in Wyoming. There's enough turkeys in the <laughs> in, in, in the t town of Des Moines to hunt. <laughs> this is what they call this event, the Freedom Shoot. It, uh, nothing comes for, for free. Some of the items to be raffled off, and this is the inaugural event. Got room to grow. A silent auction here. Yeah. 
and they've had awful nice to have something like this to uh, participate in in the spirit of giving back. Here's what it's all about. There's the f future. Thinks we have a future as bow hunters. Thanks for bringing him along. You bet. <laughs> a couple of traditional archers shooting at the pop ups. So far, I had a decent crowd for the weather condition. Quite a variety of targets. Here we got a javelina and a white tailed deer. Not a typical buck at that. I swore one night walking out of my tree stand I seen something that looked like that. Another unique target. Another nice target. That there is an elevated stand for several different shots right there. Yeah, pretty safe and moves people through there quite fast. Here's two little guys. What's your first name? Caleb. Who? Caleb. Caleb? Yeah. Caleb and? Jameson. And Simpson? Jameson. And <laughs> Simpson. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go. <laughs> this is your first 3D shoot. Come on, buddy. Okay, watch it. Now, now here's what they do. I gotta, be, gotta be quiet. Now look at this. A little closer now. Take your time. Turkey the next one. Oh, maybe you get it this time. Thanksgiving dinner is over there. Yeah, it's Thanksgiving dinner. I just wanted to let you see what little boys do. Yeah, you can do it. Keep them shaking, little. See that little boy? Oh, she shot it. She killed the bear. There you go. Future of bow hunting right there. Yeah, something for everybody to do. Supper time. All the food that's served here today, all the money raised from everything here, including the food, will be donated to the veterans organization here in the state of Iowa. It's a, not a large gathering, but it's a gathering. People will come and went all day, spent their money, and like I say, every penny that went through the cash register here in any shape or form goes to the veterans organization. So, you guys out there on the YouTube channel, if you want to get something started in your area, it's a pretty cool thing to start. It does take a lot of work. A lot of work. And here's Karen. She was one of the instigators of this. Uh, how long did it take you to put this shoot together, Karen? About a year. About a year? About a year. Okay. Has it fulfilled your expectation? Um, uh, this is yes, the, yes. Of that inaugural? We, uh, we're going to change a few things for next year, but yes, for the most part, it's been awesome. So, well, it's really appreciated that you take the time out of your life to do something like that. No problem. Got some thank yous out here today. First and foremost, uh, thank you to Bob and Karen Branscombe. Bob has uh, been gener enough, generous enough to put this together. I know he's donated a lot of, uh, a lot of time and, and energy and, and supplies for the auction and stuff. So, uh, big thank you to Bobby and Karen. Also, want to shout out to uh, uh, Mid Iowa Archers. They've helped out with the food and setting up the targets and, and really helping this thing uh, roll through good. So thank you for them. And uh, just as a disclosure, I'm not an auctioneer, so I... <laughs> Don, do you want to come up and talk about that a little bit? Sure. 
Chuck Kirkton donated may happen many, many Iowa for the big game man. Uh, I can't tell you the number of people that we've sent out there to charity, to the IDA, Pope uh, and Young. We just sold 1,500 in Omaha. Pope uh, and Young is a real good hunt. Chuck takes his hunt and they took us real serious. He wants you to come back home with a lifetime memory. I haven't found a person yet that only went there once. They never had an inkling to go back. They always wanted to go back and thought it came back with more multiple hunts. One of the most successful hunts is the pronghorn antelope are unique. You'll only find them in Western America. I don't want to oversell the hunt. We're still hunting. We can't guarantee a kill. Guarantee uh, a adventure of a lifetime. And the landscape out there and the, the, the Casey, Wyoming, the hometown of the Lake Crystal Dew, you're in cowboy country, cowboy heaven. So they, we do most of the hunt over water holes and green fields, which is highly successful. And uh, I, can, I can, we could fill this room and run them out of here from Iowa and Harvest and Amber. So if you have to do, uh, let's see what we can do for Chuck and for the veterans of the United States, the veterans in Iowa, that's what this is about, giving back. Thank you. you guys, this sounds like an excellent, excellent opportun opportunity to uh, kill a trophy of a lifetime. Uh, I, I personally, I've been to Wyoming. It's, it's excellent. I'm sure some of you guys have to. Let's give me $500. 500 We need 500 500 I got 500 over here. 550 You say 550 $550. I got 500, 550, it's from the veterans, guys. It's from the veterans as well. 550, I got 500, 550, 550, 1550, 1550, 1550, great friend. 1550. Guys, we're going to go 1550 once. 1550 twice. But he only said 1550. I got 1550. I got 1600. I got 1600 from Jim Nelson. 1600. 1600 1600 1600 I got $1,600. I got $1,600 going once. Go together. $1,600 going twice. Guys, I've got to make a decision. Sold. better than this people. I just hope that you and your fellow YouTube followers have something like that going on in your area.